All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan, a.k.a. Slammerella. And just in case you thought we weren't doing any more black metal stuff around here, guess what? We're back. We're doing it. This time, a review on the latest by Canadian black metal band, Fire Cult. That's right. They came back this year in February 2nd, 2023 to give us the Initiation EP that was apparently recorded between 2016 and 2017. Now, I'm not sure if that means the entire EP was recorded then or just the intro track called Initiation. If you're in the band, let me know in the comments section below to clear that up. And as you can see, I got my fire cult merch on so clearly i had some positive thoughts about this ep but stick around and hear what i have to say about it please because that's the interesting part of these reviews all right so again just to reiterate this is a black metal band that came from vancouver bc canada the members are sulfurum on guitar and vocals azrael on bass and rylan m or rm on drums they did recently go through a bit of a member change. I think Noose is no longer with the band. They were also from the Canadian kind of depressive black metal band Finite amazing band also i need to check and see if they've got anything new or what's going on with them but if you haven't been keeping up with fire cult previously to this ep they've released quite a few things and i highly recommend you checking them out starting off with realm of fire their demo from 2012 then moving into infernal theodicy in 2013 the follow-up demo and then they started producing some eps after that one in 2014 called the essence of the fallen and then one in 2015 called lord of the eternal fire and then a cool split that they did with finite called void cult conspiracy also in 2015 later that year so now that we're all caught up, let's check out the newest EP, 2023's Initiation. So, the vocals on this EP were centered well in the mix, about on par with the guitars. So that means they weren't too overpowering and also not buried in the mix either. The stylings of vocals you got in this was a gritty, gravelly, evil, and mostly mid-range and tone type of vocals. However, sometimes here and there, Sulfurum did get a little wet and throaty, which gave it that extra grimy, vile black metal effect. And it comes through really, really well, I believe, in the very first track, which is Vessel, and as well, really, really well in Silent Tongue. As for the guitars in this EP, they were also mixed pretty good volume-wise, balanced very well on par with the vocals. It had a solid tone, good dialed-in sound, which gave it the power when needed. There was just enough gain and distortion while still maintaining a very audible and distinct guitar presence. And I have to say there is some really excellent riffs and groovy hooks going on with in this EP. It matched perfectly with the usual tremolos and dissonant arrangements that you can normally find on most black metal songs. It had a bleak and sinister aura all around. Now, as for the bass, it was actually really well kept in this and you could pick it out here and there. There was a part in silent tongue where it kind of bursted through and you really did notice it for a second and then settled back into its usual spot but yeah it was lower in the mix just under the guitars however again the presence was definitely felt throughout the ep it kept the atmosphere humming and fairly beefy for a black metal production it definitely made the production value feel slightly higher than usual all right moving on to the drums Perfectly set in the middle of the mix, peeking out every now and then to say hi and shine between guitar arrangements and vocal attacks. It had a good punchy kick and snare combo with fantastic rolls and tom fills here and there. And the cymbal accents were crashing and 
excellently sprinkled in for good measure and of course it had those blistering blast beats and even some euro blasts i believe if i heard correctly all right moving on to my favorite tracks on this ep my favorite song on this hands down is definitely the second track called silent tongue uh, a third of the way in it has this fairly interesting drum transition stuff i really enjoy and the midpoint of the song just goes off like nobody's business just really really energetic and some of the coolest guitar stuff i've heard in black metal for a while easily the best part of the whole ep and then there's this bass punch in part that i told you about that comes in about the second third way mark you will definitely enjoy that interesting little spice thrown in there the second favorite track on this is probably vessel which is track two that comes in right after the intro i should say that silent tongue was actually track three but it was my favorite track on here but yes vessel is track number two and is my second favorite song on this ep had this really cool drum build up beat after the intro and then it had some pretty good fills near the end and of course a pummeling main riff that pops up multiple times throughout the song and of course the vocals really dig in deep and command attention when they arrive on the scene track number four and my third favorite on here is fractured unity the first two minutes and ten seconds roughly is like taking a tour over the lava pits of hell instrumentally and then sulfurum comes in to spit some vocal fury and then around the three minute and 40 ish mark comes the grimmest black metal riff ever summoning all of the invisible oranges and grimacing so yeah really enjoyed that part of that song good stuff for sure so what are my general thoughts for this ep well let me tell you fire cult are bringing the heat for this release all of hell's fury is on full display here fire cult aren't fucking around with the tin can and potato production either they let you know their presence is there and it's a foreboding and powerful one at that yet still somehow they pull off that gritty devil may care attitude and vibe that is somewhat reminiscent of the punk genre however there are no skank beats in here to be found just raw anarchy rebellion and brimstone rounding off this review the only weakness or improvement that i could see to be done to this is maybe the initiation intro it could have a little bit more going for it considering the already short track list and maybe could have tied into the first song slightly better and not really this ep specific but i would love to see a full length effort from fire call in the future now that we have so many eps and demos and singles to check out yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on this ep i'm happy with the digital copy that i got but i would definitely like to get a cd a physical copy in the future at some point and i'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10 really really good ep excellent riffs excellent vocals the drumming is just some of the best i've heard in a while and yeah uh, needless to say i'm jesse morgan and i would buy this ep I already have a digital copy now to save up for the physical one so that i can torture my guests in my vehicle while we're driving around town that's it for fire cults 2023's initiation ep let me know if you've checked it out and give me your thoughts in the comment section below would love to hear them and discuss it hopefully more from fire call in the future and i'll have to go check out what's going on with finite as well that's it from me here hopefully you enjoyed this review and i'll see you in the next video for glory for the rebellion Slammerella out. Onwards to Brimstone and Hellfire.